A very unique topic here in California and especially here in Los Angeles is bot studs. Bot studs are small reflectors mounted on the ground and they are next to lane markings to yeah, guide you your way through the street. And um, those bot studs are sometimes um, with lane markings, they are sometimes alone and sometimes you have a mix with both. And it's very difficult to detect those situations and to detect those bot studs with radar and camera in a reliable way. So here in the United States I experienced carpool lanes. So when you have two persons in a vehicle you are allowed to go on a separate lane uh, which is most of the time also faster. And you can also pay here some money to go on the fast lane. And also when you have an autonomous vehicle you want to use that lane but just when you're allowed. And that's the difficulty in future. We have to do a very precise localization so the car has to know first of all on which street or on which highway you are and second exactly on which lane you are and this is the challenge in future that you drive on that lane actually on which you are allowed to drive. Today's driver assistance systems are capable to handle 95% of all the situations but we want to also get on the last 5% to get all of it and that's important. Uh, think of the unexpected and that's exactly the point and I have an example on that. We have here in uh, the United States the opportunity to turn right on red which means you are allowed to turn right even on a red traffic light. And the difficulty here is uh, you are allowed if it's safe. But what does safe mean? An autonomous vehicle has to assess exactly that situation and to decide if you are allowed to go or not. Moreover, we have here the situation of overtaking on the right side and this is also a point. So is it safe to overtake on the right side or not? And this is also a point our autonomous vehicle in future has to deal with. So during my baby, our project Intelligent World Drive, it was interesting. It was really a world trip all around. And I really loved working together with our colleagues in the different countries. They showed us their culture. They, um, showed us their family, so they treated us like family. And that was a great experience. From a professional perspective, um, it was very interesting and was kind of a motivation seeing our car perform in the different countries. And believe me, we didn't take the easiest situations. We put the car into the very, very interesting and very difficult, challenging situations. And it was really interesting for me to see how the car performs in those specific country situations. And also our colleagues in Sindelfing were very interested about our measurements and they are now getting ready for some more work.